A viewer writes, Please settle a family dispute. One member of our family likes to leave the radio on all day to entertain the cat. I say this is a terrible waste of electricity. Who's right? Stingy. Welcome, Ontario. Well, Stingy, that is a tremendous waste of electricity, but it's a tremendous waste of a very small amount of electricity. You'd be better off ranting and raving about using the electric dryer to dry just one pair of pants. The electric company bills you for the amount of electricity you use in kilowatt hours. In other words, how many watts you use and for how long. Now, the last time I checked my rate, it was $0.0636 per kilowatt hour. So to use 1,000 watts for one hour costs me about six cents. It costs me the same to use 500 watts for two hours or 2,000 watts for a half an hour. The watt by itself is just a simple unit of work. One horsepower equals 746 watts. In electrical terms, the watts of an appliance are found by multiplying its voltage by its amperage. Fortunately, you don't have to remember all of that because the wattage is usually found on the rating plate of things. The wattage is either stated in watts or in VA, which everyone says stands for volt amps and means the same as watts but isn't sure where it came from. Some equipment is quoted in amps, but then you'll have to multiply by the rated voltage to get the wattage. But, as Ray Stevens once said, that's not the end of our story. No. Some devices loudly proclaim their wattage up front, but the rating plate tells a different story. Your stereo receiver might be a 100 watt model, but at low listening levels, it probably only dumps a couple of watts into its speaker, translating to about 5 or 10 watts of actual power draw. A 500 watt microwave oven may blast 500 watts of energy into the food, but to its figure of 500, you have to add inefficiency, a fan motor, and a light, a couple of hundred extra watts at least. As long as you're becoming a concerned consumer, don't forget it's not just the watch you use, but how long you use them. My clothes dryer uses a whopping 5,000 watts, but only for 20 minutes a load. That works out to 1.6 kilowatt hours. A 100 watt light bulb left on for 24 hours costs almost twice as much, 2.4 kilowatt hours. As long as you like worrying about waste of electricity, there's a good chance you have an 8 watt heater in the butter compartment of your fridge. 8 watts times 24 hours times 30 days, 5.7 kilowatt hours, or almost four dryer loads a month. So stingy, hope this all helps. Leaving the radio on probably is the most ridiculous waste of electricity. My vote's for the butter heater.